Do just close, close them all down. Close them, close them all down. Yes, close them all down. And uh, if they want to stay open Saturday night, Friday night, whatever, but Sunday should not be a day of shopping. Doesn't, doesn't the majority of stores close down on Christmas Day? I mean, couldn't this be possible on Sunday? And at the same time, we would be saving our environment, wouldn't we? <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, if you close down one day, you have less traffic on the roads, you'd be helping out your family, you'd be saving on lights and power. I, I can't understand why our government or any political well, parties wouldn't support that. We got we got a bunch of, what, what, what should I use for words? Uh, the none that I can think of that's easy, I say jackasses. Because they don't see the three people chasing the environment. Do this, do that. When they have a chance to do something collectively together, they're not interested. The same as we have our children. My God, they're not satisfied unless they kill them in the womb. And they don't say a word, but they're going to man making a living, catching fish, killing a few seeds, they're chasing them down for life. And our whole society speaks for common sense. And it, it boils them down, we're losing our, our, our freedom of choice, and uh, they, they, they want to be deciding what we want. I don't think that's right. Do you think it's terrible to have a law telling people that they can't shop? Uh, that's pretty hard to do in a sense, but in an organized town they've got all kinds of bylaws. They make a lot of their own rules. We have laws, for instance, uh, minimum wage. That's we right. tell a company how to spend their money. Um, holiday pay, holiday closures. So, well, we got people now hollering for a holiday for in, in February, and to me, that's not as important as my Sunday. You know, at one time in my life, I was on the road for a company, and I, 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 I doing very well with them, and I was happy with them. And I was asked to go to sales meetings on Sunday, and I refused. I worked eight, ten, twelve hours a day, six days a week. And on Sunday, I wanted for myself, and uh, fished it around that uh, they laid me off. And what it cost the company? They lost the whole work that I had developed for them. They lost hope tremendously. They came back to me about two weeks after I was laid off, and we'd like you to come back with us. And I just said no. Now they thought they lost something, but what was I losing? See my point? Yes. What I lost definitely. didn't mean anything till they'd done what they wanted. Yeah. And then when they see that mistake, oh, that was you really shouldn't have done that. But you can't steer people and manipulate them like that. You lose out somewhere. Absolutely, absolutely. We're all losing out. But I do believe, tell me in all honesty, that we should go to have our Sundays, and our Sundays should mean what it was intended for. And uh, one of the things that's wrong, we've got a lot of people coming into our area that may be used to these things that we ain't. And uh, you've got to remember these people are putting pressure on, on the government. And as far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't be like this. It just shouldn't be. So we're really back to like big business controlling our government. Yeah. That's what it's really all about here. They talk about tourism, and that's a that's a real ticklish subject. They're finding out now that the Americans will come over, Americans will come here to the difference of a few cents on their dollar. Well, years ago, people came to our country. It was quiet. It was sort of laid back, like, like Prince Edward Island, and they came because they enjoyed the tranquility the quietness of the area, and a place to relax and have a nice vacation. Right now everybody got the idea if there's a tourist coming up, put your price up. You can't do that. They're no. selling themselves short. And this shopping on Sunday, that's just another way. They're not coming into a place to get a rest. They're just coming over here to get another rat race. Absolutely. A lot of tourists uh, come to our province just to have that rest, and it, mean, it meant right. a lot to them. And they enjoyed it. Absolutely. And it was the best advertising we could have. We were ourselves in. 
Actually, didn't they have something in the States one time advertising that we were the best province to come yes, to? Yes, they did. And at the time, we had no Sunday shopping, and at the time, the media was very silent about it. Did you notice that? Yes, I did, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, somebody got the idea, I'm going to make some money. I'm going to do what nobody else is going to do. Let's open on Sunday. And it, this is what happened. Isn't the media another problem with the... It's not all about Sunday shopping no because, because you have you have money for one thing that the media collects from big business. It's a really vicious circle to, here. In so. some sense, the media is, is, is also a guilty party in all of this. They're subjected to advertising revenue, and if they can print a couple extra flyers that you buy it on Sunday, they're, they're happy. Everybody will sell out for the almighty dollar. They will not stand up. But you and I, we're here today, and we're sharing this with the whole world out there. And I think it's, well, a, I think it's a good thing. I think it's really healthy being able to share I, our opinion. I always was one that I felt that I was in a situation I could help somebody. I always felt it was my duty to do what I could. And I take the same stand on Sunday shopping. It's not right. Have I done it? Yep. I put a sale on something I wanted for half price. What would I do? I'm no better than anybody else with money. I don't have any more than nobody else got. But the thing of it is that Sunday shopping is taken away from the family. A day of the week that should mean an awful lot more than going shopping. No need to go shopping on Sunday. No.